Hi, it's Katrina. From extinct species that may actually still be around, to a bird who rejected his own kind to live among a family of statues, here are 10 of the loneliest animals in the world. Number 10. Zanzibar Leopard The highly elusive Zanzibar Leopard was always hard to find. There are only six known skins in museums throughout the world currently serving as the only tangible proof that the species ever existed. This small subspecies lived on Tanzania's Zanzibar archipelago where local superstition led to overhunting. Believing the Zanzibar leopard was evil and worked with witch doctors to harass people and harm their livestock, residents viewed them as pests and sought to eliminate them. The government actually sponsored an extermination campaign in the 1960s, and by the time activists embarked on a conservation campaign during the mid-90s, it was deemed too late to save the species. A live Zanzibar leopard had last been spotted during the early 1980s, and with all hope lost, conservation efforts ended and the creature was declared extinct. Reported unconfirmed sightings throughout the years have led some researchers to believe that a small Zanzibar leopard population could still be out there, remaining well hidden from human view. In 2018, wildlife biologist and tracker Forrest Galante captured footage of what appeared to be a live Zanzibar leopard using a trail camera. The shocking video was featured on Extinct or Alive, the Animal Planet series Galante hosts. After reviewing nearly two weeks' worth of footage and spotting nothing, the disappointed team was about to erase the video when a wildcat briefly stepped into the frame. If they are still around regardless, these cats would be quite solitary seeing that there are so few of them. There is a chance that the creature was a different species, especially considering widespread rumors that witch doctors imported other leopards from mainland Africa to carry on their work after the Zanzibar leopard disappeared. But based on its markings and size, Galante believes it could be the real deal. Without genetic evidence, there is no way to prove if the species still exists. Local park rangers and Galante's team are working together to secure DNA samples from the area in hopes of confirming that the cat lives on. Number 9. Britain's Solitary Bat The greater mouse-eared bat, which is common throughout parts of Europe, was declared extinct in Great Britain in 1992, after being spotted only a handful of times, and only in southern England throughout the preceding decades. It was the first mammal to go extinct in Britain in 250 years. Or did it? In 2002, a male greater mouse-eared bat appeared in a damp and disused rail tunnel in West Sussex, providing renewed hope that the species was making a comeback. He's returned every winter since, always alone. Nobody has ever seen the bat in flight. For five months, he hangs in the tunnel before disappearing to a mystery destination for the rest of the year. His survival depends on humans observing him from a distance, as disturbing bats during hibernation can be fatal. Greater mouse-eared bats can live for up to 35 years and are one of the largest European bat species, weighing up to 45 grams and with a wingspan measuring as much as 40 centimeters. The solitary tunnel dweller was very young when he was discovered, so his annual visits may continue for several more years. Figuring out where he goes after hibernation season could help researchers find more living specimens. Number 8. Dating Ad for a Fish The Mangarahara cichlid is an extremely rare fish endemic to Madagascar, and it's nearing extinction due to destructive dam construction in its only natural habitat. In 2013, the London Zoo, which houses the last two of three known living male specimens, appealed to fish collectors and private aquarium owners worldwide to come forward if they knew of any females, in hopes of starting a breeding program to save the species. The search was not very promising at first, and only became more hopeless as time passed and the zoo scoured the globe for a female Mangarahara cichlid with no luck. Writing for the Scientific American, environmental journalist John R. Platt explained that at some point, he more or less gave up hope for the species and expected the fish to go extinct. Good news, though, things took an unexpected positive turn when the Zoological Society of London announced that a group of Manga Rahara cichlids had been discovered living in the wild. A farmer and business owner living in Madagascar recognized the species as one he'd seen before and contacted the zoo, which sent an expedition to investigate. The team struggled to find specimens and once again started losing hope, until local villagers helped them locate some. They eventually found 18 of them and the fish were relocated to a private facility where they will hopefully breed and bring back the species. 
and the poor males in the zoo won't be so lonely. Number 7. Lonesome George Lonesome George was the last known living Pinta Island tortoise, a species endemic to the island of Pinta in the northern region of the Galapagos archipelago. By the early 20th century, the species was thought to be extinct, and the introduction of goats to Pinta Island in 1959 all but destroyed any turtle habitats. A Hungarian scientist discovered Lonesome George in 1971, and Galapagos National Park rangers relocated him to the tourist center on Santa Cruz Island, hoping to eventually find a female to keep him company and breed the pair. To this day, no other Pinta Island tortoises have been discovered. Lonesome George passed away in 2012 at over 100 years old. A conservation mission called Project Isabella launched in 1997, aimed to restore the natural habitats on Pinta Island, Santiago, and northern Isabella through the removal of large, invasive mammals, with the goal of eventually reintroducing tortoise populations. Pinta was declared goat-free in 2003, and the future of highly threatened Galapagos giant tortoises is becoming more hopeful as scientists scramble to prevent them from suffering the same fate as Lonesome George's species. And now for number 6, but first I want to give a big welcome to Iqbal Hossein who is a new subscriber, and shout out to Janelle Montessarin. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join us! Number 6. Northern White Rhino The northern white rhino is one of two white rhinoceros subspecies. A century ago, hundreds of thousands of rhinos roamed Africa, but poaching has nearly wiped them out of existence. The northern white rhino is completely extinct in the wild, and there are just two surviving individuals in captivity, both female. The last remaining male white northern rhino named Sudan passed away in 2018 at the Old Pajeta Conservancy in Kenya at age 45. He is survived by his daughter Najin and his granddaughter Fatu. Attempts at mating Najin and Fatu with members of the southern white rhino subspecies failed, leaving in vitro fertilization as the last realistic fighting chance for the species' survival. Both females are incapable of carrying offspring, so scientists plan to fertilize their eggs with stored sperm from male specimens and implant the embryo in a southern white rhino or a horse who will act as a surrogate. This process could cost as much as $10 million, and there is no guarantee of success, but if a successful pregnancy results, it will constitute the first ever revival of a functionally extinct species. Number 5. No Mate Nigel During the 1990s, conservationists placed 80 concrete gannets on New Zealand's Mana Island, located 16 miles northwest of Wellington, where they hoped to attract real birds and eventually reintroduce the species. The project was disappointingly unsuccessful, for the most part. In 2013, a gannet landed on the uninhabited island for the first time in 40 years. Nigel, as he was later named, was attracted to one of the concrete decoys. He spent much of his time trying to woo her, year after year, and to no avail. He constructed a nest and spent hours grooming his stone mate, and even passed away next to her. Three weeks before Nigel's death, three gannets arrived at Mana Island, but Nigel did not befriend them. His attention remained focused on his inanimate lover. So sad, right? Chris Bell, a ranger for the New Zealand Department of Conservation and the only full-time employee on Mana Island, discovered Nigel's lifeless body. Nigel was very faithful to the colony, Bell told The Guardian, referring to the bird's concrete crew. I think we all have a lot of empathy for him because he had this fairly hopeless situation. But Nigel's time spent alone on the island wasn't in vain. People championing for the return of a gannet colony on Mana Island credit Nigel with attracting the three new birds, who arrived to the island shortly before his life ended. Number 4. Tuffy the Frog Originally from Panama, Tuffy was a Rab's fringe-limbed tree frog who was discovered during a 2005 frog rescue mission by Zoo Atlanta and the Atlanta Botanical Garden. Scientists had rushed to the Panamanian rainforest to try saving frogs from a widespread fungal infection, which ultimately killed 85% of the amphibians in Tuffy's habitat. The Rab's fringe-limbed tree frog was first described in 2008, three years after Tuffy was discovered, and one year after it was last observed in the wild. Tuffy ended up being the last known living specimen of his kind, and spent his final years in solitude at the Atlanta Botanical Garden. A frog of the same species, who was discovered during the same mission that rescued Tuffy, had passed away four and a half years earlier. Tuffy was silent throughout most of his years under human care. One day in 2014, Mark Mandica, the head of the Amphibian Foundation, who spent several years working with Tuffy, heard an unfamiliar call, which belonged to Tuffy. 
Using his phone, he captured the only known sound recording of the species' call. Tuffy passed away in 2016, marking the extinction of his species. Some experts believe, however, that there may be some surviving Rab's fringe-limbed tree frogs living in the wild, high up in the trees, where they're extremely hard to find. Number 3. Yangtze Giant Softshell Turtle One of the last Yangtze Giant Softshell Turtles passed away at China's Suzhou Zoo in April 2019. She was over 90 years old and perished for unknown reasons. She had just had artificial insemination, but there were no apparent complications from the procedure. It was most likely her age. She is survived by three known specimens, including a male who is around 100 years old and also lives at the zoo. He is all alone now. The other two surviving members of this species, whose genders are unknown, live in separate ponds in Vietnam. With just three Yangtze giant softshell turtles left, it's hard to believe that this creature once thrived in freshwater habitats throughout China and Vietnam, but hunting, overfishing, and habitat loss have nearly wiped the species out. Scientists have not given up hope on saving the creature. There's a chance that there are more undiscovered specimens living in the wild, and they hope to find and capture a female and place her into a semi-wild captive environment with a male, where the two will hopefully reproduce. Just one healthy breeding pair of Yangtze giant softshell turtles could save the species. But time is of the essence, and researchers are trying to act before it's too late. Number 2. The World's Loneliest Whale In 1989, U.S. Navy hydrophones captured strange signals in the form of a whale call that seemed characteristic of a blue whale, but was broadcast at an unusually high frequency of 52 hertz. To human ears, this sounds like a low bass note. Blue whales typically sing between 10 and 40 hertz, while fin whales vocalize at 20 hertz, leaving researchers stumped as to what kind of creature was responsible for the unusual call. If it was from a whale, maybe it was an endangered kind, or a completely newly discovered animal. Marine mammal researcher Bill Watkins from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution spent years studying the sound. Watkins and his colleagues connected the call to a single source leading the media to dub the creature behind it the loneliest whale in the world. While experts were perplexed about the creature's oddly high-pitched singing voice, they also theorized that he or she was doing okay. The fact that this individual has been capable of existing in that harsh environment for at least these 12 years indicates there's nothing wrong with it. Kate Stafford, a researcher at the National Marine Mammal Laboratory in Seattle, explained to the New York Times. At the same time, the solitary whale's unanswered call indicates that the creature is indeed unique. Hopefully, its sound is just different and it's not lonely. Number 1. Spix's Macaw The 2011 animated film Rio drew attention to the Spix's Macaw, a beautiful blue bird that disappeared from the wild in 2000. Wildlife trafficking and deforestation are to blame for driving the medium-sized avian species to near extinction, with less than 100 known surviving specimens all living in captivity. Fearing the ill effects of inbreeding, one of the last wild-born Spix's macaws, named Presley, was introduced to a captive breeding population in hopes of bringing some genetic diversity to future generations, which would increase the species' chances of survival. But Presley failed to produce offspring before passing away in 2014, at around 40 years old. Scientists and conservationists refuse to give up on the Spix's macaw. Earlier this year, 52 of the birds were transported to the species' native Brazil as part of a plan to reintroduce a wild population. The birds who were bred in captivity are currently at a transitional care center, where they will hopefully learn how to survive in the wild. They will likely be released sometime next year. Thanks for watching! Did you know about any of these? Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new here. See you next time! Bye!